morning everyone. Uh, we are in Deep Creek Conservation Park again for the Anzac Day long weekend. This time we're staying at Trigg Campground and we're here for three nights. We're going to do a range of hikes throughout the park. Uh, I think by the end of this weekend we probably will have covered all of the sort of signposted, the marked um, trails in the park. Today we're going to do a bit of a hodgepodge of a few different walks. So we're going to take in a section of the Hyson Trail first and then do the Erin Creek Circuit hike and then maybe down to Blowhole Beach and back up the Hyson again back to the campsite. We'll see how we go. It, there are kind of a number of different ways that we can manage the day so we'll just see how it pans out. <laughs> fashion we decided to take a short side trail because it's only five and a half kilometers return it'll be fine it'll be fabulous we'll knock that out before lunch so of course now we have to climb three kilometers or so back up there which is just going to be gorgeous fun but it was actually worth it because look at that. site where we've never stayed before seems to be a bit of a kangaroo haven. They are so bold and completely unconcerned by our presence which is just lovely. Hello lovey. Oh aren't you beautiful? Yes you are. 
You are a cutie. So we're settled in at Trigg Campground for the evening. Um, it's quite cool already, so I think it's going to get quite chilly tonight. It was cold last night, but I have a feeling it's going to be even colder tonight. We had a really fantastic hike today. It was a little over 20 kilometers. We actually took in kind of an amalgam of hikes. We walked from Trigg along a section of the Hyson Trail down past Eagle Waterhole campsite, which is actually closed at the moment because the site's being upgraded. Um, and then we took a side trail down to Erin Creek hike, which goes right down to the ocean, which is quite tricky actually. Only five and a half kilometer return trip side trail, but lots of rock scrambles. Um, yeah, quite a tricky little walk, but beautiful and lots of really diverse terrain and then gorgeous little cove as well. So well worth it. And then we walked up around um, back onto the high sun and then right off the high sun along the Aaron Creek Circuit hike up to the Gundaloo Ridge hike and up to Gundaloo Cottage, which looks really lovely. And then we actually decided to do a bit of a road walk for the five or so kilometres back to um, the campsite, partly because we didn't want the trickiness of doing that section of the Hyson on the way back and also because it was something a bit different. It's not really like a classic road walk, which we don't really like because um, it's in the middle of a conservation park, so it was really beautiful. So, yeah, we had a fantastic day. We saw the most enormous number of butterflies. They're wanderer butterflies, aren't they? Just everywhere. It must be the time of year. So they were just clustered on bushes everywhere. It was absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, and we stopped and had some lunch. I've been trying out some hiker meals. A couple of tweaks to do to today's meal, which was a chickpea um, scramble with wraps, but really yum and I think will be one of our sort of mainstays on long distance hikes once I've got the recipe absolutely right. Um, yeah, so we're back at the campsite now. We've done all of our camp chores and we're having a glass of wine. So we're going to do uh, another sort of amalgam of walks tomorrow, but I'll explain that and Mark will obviously do maps as well so you can see where we walked and definitely would recommend the way that we walked today as a really good day hike from, from this campsite.